Hi folks, this is Jay, hope you're okay today. We're looking at uh, the following Christ course and we're looking at behaviour today, so let's come before the Lord. Oh God, we praise you today, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We give you the glory and the honour. And so Father, we pray as we read your word that you bless, and that you'd encourage and strengthen us, Lord, in your name. Amen. Amen. So if we turn to Colossians chapter 3, 1 to 17. Uh, Colossians chapter 3, uh, verse 1 to 17. It says, Since then you have been raised with Christ, set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things, for you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ is your life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. You used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived, but now you must rid yourself of all such things as these. Anger, rage, malice, slander, filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self with its practice and have put on the new self which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. He the, here there is no Greek, Jew, circumcised, nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is, is in all and is in all. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy, and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience. Bear with each other and forgive what, whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave. And over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom as you sing psalms, hymns, spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Basically, um, if we're going to follow Christ, we've got to live as Christ wants. We've got to put off the old self, the old things that have brought us down. The old lifestyle has got to go. And you've got to put on the new lifestyle in Christ. And the way to do that is look to Christ, trust in him, follow him, follow his teaching. But it's not about um, pretending. You can't pretend. You've got to live this life. So that means when you go to work or when you go to school or college, you know, don't, don't like say at church, I'm a Christian, but when you meet your friends outside church, you don't live as a Christian. you got to live as a Christian everywhere you go. Or sometimes privately in your family you might be unkind to your family. And then you go out into the world and you tell everybody you're this wonderful Christian. That's not right. You've got to be right at home with your family. So whether you're at home or whether you're outside, your behaviour has to be following Christ. Now if we make mistakes we can ask for forgiveness. But our behaviour has to follow the life of Christ and if you're a disciple follow truly and honestly your master Jesus Christ thank you